Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing my favorites video for you guys. So I hope you're interested. So this might be a long video, you guys. So definitely make sure you get something to drink, maybe some popcorn, and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about has been my skincare. Now, I've gotten lots of questions as to what do you use on your skin? What have you been using? And for the longest kind of time, I was underneath dermatology care, which means that I was do using products that the dermatologist prescribed for me to use on my skin. So that helped me out a lot. But ever since I went there, I've kind of been dipping and dabbing with other products to have kind of see what might be causing my skin to break out and what's not. But guys, one line that I have absolutely been loving is the Olay Henriksen. Guys, this whole complete collection is amazing. This is the Balance one that they just now came out with, guys. If you get a chance to try this, this is absolutely amazing. I know you guys can see my skin. My skin looks flawless, even without the makeup on. And you guys know, in order for your makeup to look perfect, your skin has to be perfect. So, these products right here have been just a godsend for me. I absolutely love these. You can pick them up at Sephora. I'm not sure that Ulta carries it, but I definitely know Sephora does have them. Um, these products were sent to me, guys. However, that does not skew my opinion. I had used these products every single day, guys. I would not lie to you about something that could possibly cause damage to your skin. I love these products. And you guys can see my skin and you can tell that these products are 100% legit. Um, I love using the toner. I've used the facial wash and I also use the moisturizer guys and they have just kept my skin looking perfect and glowy and dewy and I absolutely love those products. Two more things I'm going to talk to you. Well, is it two more? Yeah, about skincare. I've also been using the Pixie. This is the Glow Skin Mist. And if you guys are wondering about this, definitely pick this up. All this is, is it's a cheaper alternative to the Tatcha Luminous um, dewy skin mist. I know a lot of people were raving over this. I mean, this is really expensive. It's $54. You really don't get that much if you ask me. Um, and guys, it's just so not worth the price, I think, because my bottle didn't even want to spray out correctly. But this Pixie Spray, guys, I have just been in love with it. It is pretty much the exact same thing, but I like the way this one misses better. I don't know if you guys could see it, but this one actually misses a lot better. And the other one does. My Tatcha one kind of just squirts out and kind of just goes everywhere. It doesn't really um, do what I need it to do. So I definitely love this. And again, this is just a cheaper dupe. I think this one is around about $15 to $16. But then again, $15 to $16 versus like $54. It's no comparison. So definitely make sure you give that a look. And the next thing I've been using is the L'Oreal. This is the Clean Artiste Waterproof Long Worn eye makeup remover guys i have sensitive eyes and i do wear contacts on occasion um, i also wear glasses so this really comes in handy for me when it comes to taking off my eye makeup it does not irritate your eyes you can see it doesn't burn so i definitely recommend this for taking off your makeup at night okay so that's pretty much all of the skincare that i have but i have been doing some color correcting with my skin. So here lately, I feel like I've just been a lot more fatigued and I have darker circles underneath my eyes and everything. And then I have the darkness around the mouth area. So I'm kind of like, what's going on a little bit? Um, not with my skin, because my skin looks great, guys. I mean, it really looks perfect. But I know it's because I'm not, I'm just really overdoing myself during the day. I'm not drinking enough water like I should. And I'm just not doing everything on my healthy food journey or whatever. So that's where the color correcting comes in. So this is the Old Compact. This is the MAC um, Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. This is in medium deep. I think you can still get this on the MAC website. Um, I have just been using the orange color down here to color correct. It's been working like a dream for me. I also use the other colors in here. I use the N um, for NC40. I use that for highlighting underneath my brows. Now I'm using the... Um, and that's the NW. That one's a little too warm for me. Um, and then I use the other NC42 and I highlight underneath my brows as well. So um, I definitely have been loving 
these particular um, concealers, corrector shades, they just work really well for my skin tone. And again, I am in the medium deep one if you're interested in that. And then I also like the correctors, color correctors from LA Girl as well. This is just the green one. And of course, they have the brush. And you don't really need a lot of product with these, you guys. And they show up really nicely. They work really well with a lot of different skin tones. And of course, you just want to go in and blend those out. So, um... And then you apply your foundation and then your concealer and whatever else that you would use. Um, let me know if you guys actually want to see how I color correct my face. Get this video to 23 likes and I'll do that video for you guys. Because I don't want to sit up here and waste my time and your time doing a video that you guys might not necessarily want to see. So if you want to see that, then get the video to like 23 likes and I'll do that video for you guys. So for foundation this month, I have been going with the NARS. This is the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. You guys know this is like my summer jam. This is like my favorite foundation that I use. It's just nice. It's lightweight. It gives that dewy look. It's just an amazing, amazing tinted moisturizer. I think personally it could be a foundation, but it is listed as a tinted moisturizer. And I am in the, co the color Cuba Medium 3, if you're wondering about that. For concealer this month, I have been using the Urban Decay, the Naked Skin. This is still like my ride or die. Yes, I want to try the Tarte Shape Tape, but I have a drawer full of concealers, you guys. So, I'm not using any more concealer. I'm, I'm not purchasing any more concealers until I get those down to maybe two or three. So, it's going to be a long, 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 long time before I actually invest in more um, concealers. But yes, guys, this has been like my go-to for right now. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about have been eyeshadow palettes. Now, one of these may shock you, and the other one may not. Um, this one is the Master Palette by Mario. Guys, I love this palette. I should say I don't love the palette, but I love the blending shades in here. So, this, this, these two colors right here. That brown and that orange are absolutely beautiful. The rest of the shades in here I'm kind of torn with. Marina, Marina, I'm kind of torn around with that one. I toured a, toyed a little bit the other day with the color Paris. Guys, these shadows are some of the best formulas I think that Anastasia has made. I really do like her palettes. I do think they keep getting better and I would highly, highly recommend them if you are in the market just to start out and make up. They're really pigmenty and buttery and you're going to love the quality of her shadows. She does a really great job with shadows. Speaking of Anastasia Beverly Hills, I also have been loving, this is her, um, brow duo powder guys i love this i have been using the one and brunette which is the dark brown one and this is just what it looks like so i've been using the dark brown one to fill in my brows and i really haven't been using the ash one the ash one is kind of like eh, but i do like using the dark brown guys for my brows and i just went back and i started actually using powder for my brows and i do like that it definitely gives you a more natural look so keep that in mind and then to set that powder i've been going in with the anastasia this is the clear brow gel and these two together you guys will give you the perfect brows and if you haven't already i do have a brow tutorial up i will link that video for you guys can go and watch it in the cards up here above or something like that i will definitely have that video linked so you guys can go and check it out if you're interested in seeing um how i do my brows as of right now the next palette that i'm going to talk about this one i was always pretty skeptical about because i didn't know if it was something that i really liked and i was just like uh but guys, I do like the palette. I absolutely love the palette now. I think it was just the hype that surrounded the palette and then the long anticipated wait on the palette, which just made it kind of like, what's the big deal? But anyway, it is the Too Faced. This is the Sweet Peach Palette, guys. And I have been loving this. I highly doubted this palette at first. Um, when I When I first saw it, I was just like, oh, I have to have it. I have to have it. And then they sold out of it. And then they said they weren't going to make any more. And then they came back with it. And I mean, it was 
basically like finding a needle in a haystack you guys to even get your hands on this palette but just even looking at it in the viewfinder guys this palette is absolutely beautiful the colors are nice again and battery Too Faced is known for making some really great eyeshadows this color puree i definitely give a lot of love to i love that i love summer yum berlini i've been using that one i've even used luscious or luscious well, I think it's luscious. I'd even use that color, guys. It really took me just going and dipping my hands in here and just playing around with the colors to see what I actually like, guys. But this is just a beautiful palette, and I highly would recommend it if you can get your hands on it. Yes, it smells like peaches and all that good stuff. And, guys, I really do like this palette, and it's definitely been one of my go-tos this month. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about, I've already mentioned this if you've watched my MAC haul by now, but it has been the Soft Yellow, and this is the Scent Powder, guys. This has been amazing. I've also been loving the Dark Tan Mineralized Skin Finish again. If you don't know what I'm talking about, guys, definitely make sure you check out that MAC haul video that I did so you guys can actually see these particular products and just find out why I picked them up. They are amazing. For highlighter this month, I have been using... Um, I went back to this Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Sculpting Duo. And guys, I have just been loving that highlight that's in here. This is the highlight that I have on today. And you guys can see it there. It's just a really natural, beautiful highlight. It gives off that nice, pretty gold color. And it really just looks nice against my skin. It's almost like a natural finish that it gives against my skin. And I absolutely just love that guys so this has really been my go-to all right and two more things i'm going to talk to you guys about and then i'm going to wrap this video up because it's a long one um i have been in love with the cork lip liner and i've also been in love with the half and half and it's actually the lip color that i'm wearing today so if you want to know what it looks like it's the combo that i have on my lips today guys and i absolutely love it so there you guys have it that is my favorites video for you guys i'm definitely going to start back doing more favorites videos you guys because i definitely feel that i have a lot of stuff to share with you guys even though some of the products are older i do incorporate new products in but yeah i'm definitely going to start back doing favorites videos for you guys so definitely make sure you click the circle of my face so you can go ahead and subscribe and see more of those videos and then while you're at it go ahead and click the, one of the videos over here so you can actually see one of my other videos as well thank you guys so much for watching my favorites video and i will see you guys in the very next one bye